Hello everyone, this is Georgia from Adult Movies Today. I thought I'd do something a little different and bring you a vlog and video review. Now, this is the first time I've ever used my webcam and I've never made a video before so this really may end up sucking. But if you guys like it, let me know and I'll do another one. Maybe the next one won't be so bad. Um, a couple things. First, over at Adult Movies today, we've got two new reviewers that are going to be making their debut here very soon. Um, one of them goes by the name Gonzo Wild. He's the cousin of Zach, who is right now doing gay reviews for Titan. Um, so if you're into gay movies, check out um, Zach's reviews. The other one is Porno Bobby. I found him on Twitter. He's a, I've been following him for a while. He's a really funny guy. You should check him out. Um, that's at Porno Bobby. Yesterday I got an email that I need to get together my XRCO award nominations. Now this is my first year in XRCO and I'm finding this difficult. Um, I never thought reviewing porn would be so hard. But I have to remember everything that I have watched in the last year. Who debuted this year? Um, you know, as opposed to somebody that's been into the, in the business for two or three years and just now became popular. It, it's just a lot to remember. Um, I'll get it though, and I'll get my nominations in on time, and all will be good in the world. The movie I want to share with everybody is Caden and Rocco Make a Porno from Adam and Eve Pictures starring Caden Cross, Rocco Reed, and Evan Stone. Um, the title is a play on Zach and Mary Make a Porno, but this isn't a parody. This is a comedy in its own right. Um, what happens is Caden Cross and Rocco Reed are critiquing the last scene that they did together and Caden's not liking it. She's decided that she can do a better job and contacts her people over at Adam and Eve to see if they'll give her a budget and allow her to see what she can do as a director. Well, um, the studio agrees and Caden quickly finds out that directing isn't as easy as it looks and she's more cut out for doing things in front of the camera. From the start, everything goes wrong for her, mostly because she's hired Evan Stone as her personal assistant. Now, Evan's story is he really wants to do porn and shows up for the casting call. Now, Caden has hired all the male talent she needs and is sending everybody home. So Evan pops up and tells her that he's there for the personal assistant job when he's never done PA work before in his life. She hires him on the spot, no questions asked. He screws up everything from the start, you know, but in his defense, he's willing to learn, and he tries really hard, but it, his misadventures as Caden's personal assistant um, provide for a lot of the comedy relief in this movie, and Evan is, Evan is really funny. Um, Sex-wise... I was really disappointed that Caden Cross and Evan Stone didn't have a scene together because every scene that I have ever seen with them has such great chemistry, such great intensity that I, you just want to watch it over and over and over. Um, he did have two scenes in the movie though. The first was a three-way with um, Danny Johnson and Kira Diane. Now these two young ladies the, nothing against them but they they just don't have the same intensity as Evan and you can really tell in the scene the other scene he had was at the very end with Tiffany Minx and she can match his intensity and everything and it was a really great scene you, you won't be disappointed with that one um Caden Cross also had two scenes in the movie, as did Rocco Reed. The first scene that Caden had was with Rocco. The second scene was a three-way with um, Tommy Gunn and Barrett Blade, who 
is going to be doing more work behind the camera now. He's finally learned how to direct. He's come right out and said that his first directing attempt sucked, but he's learned a lot since then. So we're going to be seeing a lot less of Barrett Blade in front of the camera. So um, enjoy him in this scene. Um, Rocco also had two scenes, and the second one was with Cody Carmichael. She was playing the makeup woman, and he did his thing with her and had to go to Caden and tell her, hey, um, the makeup lady came on to me and I kind of did her and now I can't perform in the movie. And she was really upset about that and had to find new talent to replace Rocco, which is where Tommy and Barrett came in. I'm really torn on this because I don't know if the sex is lacking or if they're just that good of performers and were able to actually make sex seem like a job for the sake of showing the behind the scenes fiasco of mate of Caden making her movie. Um, you guys will have to watch it and decide. The written review is also up on the website at www.adultmoviestoday.net. Um, there's a handful of screenshots from the film. Feel free to leave comments over there on the website. We would like to start seeing more comments than spam. On Adult Movies Today, you can also find reviews for this. 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 And this. It's kind of big.